Here are the top five critical mineral companies to watch right now. The US really wants to break its rare earth dependence on China and a few stocks could see massive upside from this. Right now, the US is almost entirely dependent on China, which supplies about 70% of rare earth imports. These minerals aren't just for EVs and smartphones, they're critical for defense platforms like the F-35 fighter jet. That's why the Pentagon shocked the industry this summer by taking an equity stake in MP Materials, ticker MP the largest U.S. rare earth miner. On top of that, the government even set a price floor for rare earth magnets, basically guaranteeing MP profitability. But experts say one company does not fix it. The U.S. will need multiple deals, and that opens the door for other players. Now, I am not invested in any of these companies, and I don't have immediate plans to, but that might change. I usually stick to tech stocks, but the move toward government intervention into critical mineral companies may offer upside that I would be interested in. This is not financial advice. Always do your own research before investing in these companies. First up is energy fuels, ticker UUUU. They're headquartered in Denver. They're the biggest uranium miner in the US, but now building out rare earth production. Their stock surged nearly 200% since the MP deal. As speculation builds, they could be next in line for government support. Next is Neocorp Developments, ticker NB, another critical mineral miner that's up almost 200%. They've got exposure to nobium, scandium, and rare earths, all in short supply outside of China. And third is Ramico Resources, ticker METC. Traditionally a coal company, but they've gained 140% on the idea that they can pivot in their rare earth supply chains also. Before we dive into the next two, if you have not joined the trading discord yet, go do it after this video. The link is in my bio. It is free to join. There's 25,000 traders in there. It is the perfect place to talk stock market and strategy. Fourth is Abelmar, ticker ALB, one of the largest lithium producers in the world. They could benefit if the government expands this MP style model across critical minerals. And don't forget Lithium Americas, ticker LAC. The administration is eyeing an equity stake as they renegotiate a $2.2 billion Department of Energy loan for the Thacker Pass mine in Nevada. Expected to be one of the largest lithium sources in North America, the stock ripped nearly 90% on that news alone. The bottom line is the US is signaling it's willing to break with free market ideals to protect supply chains, and that could be huge for these names. Hit like and comment mineral if you want me to cover each of these stocks in more depth and follow so you don't miss that.